Histopathology of diffuse sclerosing osteomyelitis. Diffuse sclerosing osteomyelitis demonstrate both sclerosis and remodeling of bone. The Haversian canals are scattered widely and little marrow tissues can be found in them. Although the sclerosis occurs adjacent to the areas of inflammation, the bone is typically not intermixed with significant inflammatory soft tissue component. If the adjacent inflammatory process extends into the sclerotic bone, then necrosis occurs. The necrotic bone separates the adjacent vital tissue and becomes surrounded by subacutely inflamed granulation tissue. In some bone lesions, it follows a mosaic pattern due to repeated process of resorption and repair leading to formation of reversal lines and resting lines and also secondary bacterial colonization is seen. Thank you.